love you no more. You never. Hey everybody, welcome to another video. So today's video is going to be about something in particular, which I think this will help a lot of YouTubers out. So as you guys know, a lot of smaller YouTubers try to improve their content to hope that they actually get noticed and whatnot. And um, really, they do really try and I feel really bad for them because their content sometimes is like much better than mine and you see they get less views and everything like that than me. Now, even though I would probably say you're just jealous, but I'm going to give you some tips to hopefully improve that. So to start off, you probably want a reason for people to watch you. One of the most easiest ways is to make sure that whoever you are recording with or recording about, you make sure that you're recording about someone or with someone, therefore the people who you are recording with watch it as well because they'll be able to relate because it's about them and you know they're in the video. And then there are ways like me where I put myself on a pedestal. <laughs> okay, I didn't actually put myself on a pedestal, but you know, I'm going to explain what I mean by that. So when I started on YouTube, I essentially grew from having a Minecraft server. And I think that's what most Minecraft YouTubers now before used to grow their channel off because, you know, you would join their server and you would feel obligated to go to their channel because of the fact that you're joining their server and maybe you really like their server so it's like oh well i like probably like the owner as well so i'll check out his channel and that's what happened to me i ended up getting a lot of subscribers doing that method one reason why i wouldn't do it is because then you're going to end up with a lot of inactive subscribers if your server shuts down or you don't interact with it anymore but it doesn't have to be servers it can also be a community so if you know a big group where you play some together then you can always you know co contact them and you know eventually they might check out your channel because of if any kind of reason like they're in it or maybe they just simply like your content and so on and so on one thing you need to be sure is that you do not directly give them uh, advertisement to their them otherwise then it'll seem like you're desperate Instead, you have to make shaky moves to make it seem like you're not actually desperate, but you actually are. For example, on Twitter, I follow a lot of people, but I don't expect people to follow me, but people do follow me anyway, because that's how they are. Another way is that I have a YouTuber group, and whenever I invite people to join my YouTuber group, most of the people who join feel obligated to subscribe to my channel without even me asking. There are many ways you can do this, but the the main reason why people, you know, feel the need to subscribe to me or follow me on Twitter is because I've already grown as I am. And this is what it's the kind of, you know, work where someone thinks you're famous, then they just keep following you until someone else thinks you're famous and they follow you. And that's how you kind of gain fans using fans, if you if you get what I mean. So in order for you to get like a fan base where people can see you as like, oh, you're semi popular, maybe I should follow you, maybe I should show some kind of um, interest in you because you know you're this and that which I mean it's kind of sad because people only like you for the amount of followers and stuff you have but you know you have to kind of start somewhere one problem which most people usually have is that they come off too desperate and people simply don't even bother checking out your channel also check often your channel and see if your thumbnails and channel art looks appealing towards the general viewers so you have to kind of put yourself in a general viewer's perspective and look at your channel and then see like would i watch this video or would i not watch this video um if you wouldn't watch it then you have to kind of edit something about it maybe change the thumbnail change the title or maybe just delete if you simply don't even like it when it comes to deleting videos i personally do not like deleting videos because one you lose um you know revenue which you could have earned uh, to keep it until later i maybe want to watch it some other day so instead of deleting it maybe private it you know i don't know it depends on what you think about the video otherwise i would probably suggest doing a bit of everything and see what your channel really likes um the most popular thing if you want to get a lot of views is do tutorials on things things which people always search up therefore people are always going to watch it also do clickbait things well not actual actual clickbait like oh how to get free gems on um, clash of clans you know those kind of things because then people are just gonna get pissed at you even though you might get some kind of um revenue out of it but i don't think it's i don't think it's actually worth it there are people who go to the extreme and make hate videos about people but i personally wouldn't do that because 
you could get backlash and it's not really nice. Although if you want to make a video about someone in a civilized way, I think that's acceptable because you're basically being nice about it. So it wouldn't really be a problem unless the YouTuber is super, super sensitive. And I mean, if, that, if that's the case, then I guess that's a video in itself. When I mean civilized, I mean uh, formal voice about them, not in a jokeful way, nor a rude way. And speaking of that, if, if you have a problem with someone, make sure to message them privately so if you make a video about them, it doesn't get too over the top and people will eventually start hating on one each other and you know, I don't know if YouTube or YouTubers realize this, but it's not really nice to get a lot of hate, especially when you don't deserve it. I know I did go off topic, but that's going to be the end of this video. If you did enjoy this video and you want to see more commentaries like this, then feel free to subscribe and like the video if you did so. My name is Belmsel and I'll see you guys later. Peace. Bye.